Hi everyone, it's Why Not Al here, and in today's video, I built a fume hood. Some of its features are it has a controllable speed fan, it's got four settings, and it's got an adjustable sash that raises and lowers. So stick around if you want to see a uh, commentated speed build on how I made my fume hood. So the first thing I did was measure the box to the fan, and then I sawed up some 1x2 to make a little frame for it. I just made four pieces. Then I did a little test fit and they fit nicely. So I pre-drilled them on the drill press. Then I went over to the table and screwed them together with some little wood screws. Nice and solid. Next I went to the box and I used a compass to draw the circle um, that will cut out for the fan blade. And then I cut that out using an X-Acto knife and also some shears to trim the hole to fit it perfectly. Next I measured the box to find the middle, and then I made some supports um, for the motor mount. I pre drilled some holes in the frame itself, and then in the supports and then I preloaded some screws into them and then shot it into the frame. Now the motor itself is an old salvage fan motor that I got off, the set, out of, got off of a house fan, but it has a left hand thread nut on the front that I don't have anymore. So I need to make a set screw and a collar to uh, hold on um, the fan blade. So that's what I'm going to do in this part. So I took an old 5 sixteenths nut that will fit over the, uh, over the shaft, and I'm drilling it out on the drill press with the correct size hole, and then I'm going to tap it with a 1032 thread. Then I'll clean it up, and it's ready to go. Now I can install it with a 1032 uh, bolt, and it holds the propeller onto the fan very nicely. And that's not coming off. Next, I looked at the holes in the back of the motor that we used to mount it, and I carefully measured. And then I used some little threaded screws to uh, install the fan onto the frame. And I was pleased with sturdy fit. Here's a test fit of the fan mount into the box, and it seems to work just fine. Next, I just used some screws and I measured the uh, frame and I screwed it directly into the box with some washers. Next, I put the button panel of the uh, fan through one of the handles of the box and taped it in the back. This is one thing that I have to revisit because it uh, really doesn't hold that well. But then I took the cord and I ran it through the other side of the box and also taped that closed so we don't lose air through those holes. Next on the lid of the box, I measured a hole for the flange for my uh, ductwork and then I cut it out with an X-Acto knife. The flange fit nicely through the hole and then I bent down the tabs and I had to use duct tape around it because I cut the hole a little bit too large. So this way I can still get a good seal, even with an imperfect hole. After that, I taped the lid of the box with the flange onto it, onto the rest of the box. So here's the finished box fan. It blows out this way, and it sucks from this end. We've got a flange for a hose. Um, power one way, and the three-button control panel runs the fan, and on its highest setting, it certainly sucks pretty effectively. Next, I've moved on to the box for the fume hood itself. I wanted it larger, so I took the tabs and I taped them together with some duct tape to make the box extended. And then I made a similar frame as I did in the fan box out of the same wood, 
and I used some washers and screws to screw the cardboard box onto that, um, effectively making the box sturdier and also larger. I had a piece of bad wood and I had to replace it there. That's what I get for buying cheapest lumber possible. Next I had a hole on the back similarly for the flange and this time it was a better fit and I didn't need any duct tape. So I popped it through and that was that. For the sash itself I'm using an old piece of uh, I think acrylic and I'm just screwing that onto a little frame that I whipped up uh, very similar to the other ones again using little wood screws and washers. And there's my sash. Now it's time to make some hardware for the sash. So I'm drilling a um, piece of wood that I can fit a nut into to use it as an attachment point. So I drilled a quarter inch through hole and then use a spade bit to make a larger opening to fit the nut in. Um, next I use some uh, super glue or cyanoacrylate glue, glue to uh, fit some nuts in. And now this is what I'll attach to it. Eventually I ended up switching to a different layout these are flat blocks, but it's the same idea. I pre-drilled those, and then I attached them onto the fume hood at the bottom of the frame. Next, for the bolt, I cut the similar holes into, two, into a strip of wood, and then I cut those down to size. Next, I used super glue again um, to attach the nuts into the wood, and the, hereby I made some knobs that I could use. Now I can slip the uh, sash right onto the fume hood and thread on the, uh, the nuts that will hold it in place. And so this is how I'll adjust it up and down while holding it tight. And as you can see, it's pretty sturdy in any position. It really does hold on. Next I installed the ductwork. I had to um, actually slit the ductwork a little bit to get it to fit onto the flange, even though it should have been a good fit. And then I used a 7-inch um, hose clamp to so just secure it on. Just to demonstrate the uh, flow of my fume hood, this is with it uh, set on maximum airflow and the, f the uh, sash pretty low. So here's just a match. So it burns fine once we get it to catch. Then the smoke from the match gets pulled straight into the fume hood, even from pretty far away. And I can feel the airflow nicely on my hand, so I'm quite pleased with the performance of the device. So that's how I built my fume hood. I might make some modifications, but this is certainly the general design I'm going to be going with. Um, one of the best parts about it is how cheap it was to make. I salvaged the fan um, from the side of the road, so that was free. The boxes were free. The only thing I actually spent money on was the ductwork and all that together was about thirty dollars so for the entire thing together oh forgive me this wood which was uh, ninety one cents for eight feet um, all that together was a very cheap project and it's very effective and I'm definitely going to be using it quite a bit coming up so thanks so much for watching please, please subscribe for stuff like this if you like it and I hope you have a nice day thanks and bye bye